Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Sam. In this video, I'm going to talk about the function with array. So for the vector, if we have a vector name a with a value 5924, if we need to estimate the sum of a, it means submission of all elements of a, we are going to use sum a. So for example, sum sum of a, it will be 5 plus 9 plus 2 plus 4, so the answer will be 20. What if, if we need to estimate the mean or the average of a, of all the elements of a, so the average is kind of the submission of all a element divided by the number of elements. So the submission of all elements is 20 divided by 4, so the answer will be 20 divided by 4, it will be 5. How about the median? The median is kind of estimating the middle of the numbers. So if we have the numbers 5, 9, 2, 4, so we will arrange them in the, in ascending, and then we will write 2, 4, 5, 9. And if the total number of the element is even number, so here in this case 4, so we'll estimate the mid between these two numbers, 4 and 5, it will be 4.5. How about if the total number of elements was even, uh, sorry, was odd, for example, if it's 5, 9, 2, 4, 20, so we have five elements, we sorting them in ascending order, and then we take the middle one. So the middle one here is 5. So the medium will be 5. And the next, what if, if we need to know what is the maximum number inside the vector? So we will write max A, and for example, the maximum number in this vector, it will be 9. And the minimum A, it will estimate the minimum number of this vector. So the minimum number is 2. All of these for the vector case. How about the matrix? For example, if we have A, the matrix, with 3 rows and 5 columns. What if, if we need to estimate that, for example, that submission, but the submission of the matrix doesn't give one number. This is unique way. In like MATLAB, when we write sum A, it will estimate the sum of each column. For example, we have 3 plus 6 plus 9, it will be 17. 7 plus 9, it means 16, plus 5, it means 21. So the submission of a matrix, it will give a vector with a submission of each column. So the output from submission of A, it will give a vector with a submission of each column. So submission of this column, this column, this column, this column, this column. But what if, if I need the submission of the whole matrix as a one number, we should use sum of sum of A. So it would be sum sum A, it will be submission of these elements. So if we estimate the 17 plus 21 plus 12 plus 15 plus 20, the output will be 85. Similarly, if we need to estimate the mean of A, so this mean of A will estimate the mean for each column, so it will give a vector. So the mean of this number, which is 3, 6, 8, the mean should be 5.67. And the mean of this number should be give 7. So we will estimate the mean for each column and put as a vector. But what if, if I need to estimate the mean for all the matrix? In that sense, we should write mean of a mean. So it's kind of estimating the mean of all column and then estimating again the mean of these numbers. So all the estimate the mean of all the number, both are okay. So it will give the mean of the mean for the whole matrix. How about the median? So the median, as we mentioned, it will explain the middle number. And like, for example, in this case, they will explain the mid, the mid number of these numbers. For example, 3, 6, 8, it should be 6. And the mid number of this number, 5, 7, 9, it would be 7. And between this number, it would be 3. So we are going to estimate the mid for each, the medium for each column. And the if we need to estimate the median for the whole matrix as a one number, we should write median, median of A. So it, it will give us the median for all the elements, kind of sorting all the elements and find the median number for this. 
How about if we need to estimate again for the, the matrix A, how about if we need to estimate the maximum? So the maximum will estimate the maximum number for the each column. For example, two, uh, three, six, eight, the maximum is eight. Seven, nine, two, the maximum is nine. One, three, eight, the maximum is eight, etc. So they will estimate the maximum for each column. What if, if I need the maximum for the whole matrix, so we should write maximum, maximum A. So the maximum number, if we check this, is 10. So they will write 10. What if, if I need to write the minimum of A, if A is a matrix, so they will compute the minimum number. For example, 3, 6, 8, the minimum is 3. 7, 9, 5, it will be 5. 1, 3, 8, it will be 1, etc. But what if, if I need the minimum minimum of A, it will estimate the minimum number of all the elements and minimum number here, 1, it will give 1. So let's practice. So the, the, the practice is say that create a vector array named A with the following value and then calculate the submission, it means sum, mean, medium, maximum, minimum of A. So we need kind of descriptive statistics of A. Let's go to like that, our code to check that in using the MATLAB and live script. This is the live script and I just opened the live script and we have here the same example. So if we write A, which equal to and then we write 3, 4, 12, 1, 9, 8, and 5. We can suppress the output. And then write, just write sum of A. And then run. It will be 42. If we 3 plus 4 is 7. 7, 12. It means 19 plus 1 is 20. 29, 37. 37 plus 5, it is 42. And what if, if we write the mean? So the mean of A, if we run the section, it's equal to 6. Because if we divided 42, divided 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 42 divided by 7 will give 6. This is the mean. If we write the median, sorry, median of A and just run the section, we have seven element, the mid number is five, because if we search one, three, five, one, three, four, five, eight, nine, twelve, the mid number is five. And if we write the maximum of A and run the section, so the maximum number, it would be 12. And for the minimum number of A, if we run the section, we will have one. For the second example, if we need to create a matrix array named B with the following value, so this is the B, but we don't need to write all the element explicitly. So let's first create a matrix. So we need to write 6, 9, 2, 0, 0, 0, 2 rows, and then 100, 200, 300. We can write as a follows. So we can write B equal to open square brackets, and then define 6, 9, 2, semicolon to have the second row we can define the second two rows as a zeros so we can zeros of two rows and then three columns semicolons and then we can write 100 with increasing 100 to reach 300 let's run the section and we have the output and the requirement is we need to calculate the output of the following function for example we need the summation of b if you write sum of B, B is kind of a matrix. So if we sum the matrix with one sum, it will give the submission for each column. So if we just run, so the output will be 100 plus 6 is 106, 200 plus 9 is 209, 300 plus 2 is 302. And if, what if, if we write sum of sum of B, so if we write sum of sum of b and then run the section we will have the submission of all of these like 106 plus 209 plus 300 
2, it would be 617. What if, if we write the maximum of P? If we run the section, it will give the maximum for each element, which is 100, 200, 300 for each column. This is the maximum. What if, if we write the maximum, maximum of B? If we write the maximum, maximum of B, it will give the maximum, maximum number of the whole array. It should give 300. So the output should be 300. I think that's very simple. Just for today, to sum up, like we learn how to use some function, including the sum, like the, the mean, the median, the maximum, the minimum, five function, how to use that with array. And if we use that with a vector, it will give one number based on the sum or the mean or the medium or the maximum or the minimum. But in the case, if we use that for the matrix, if we use this function, it will give a vector with the like the output for each column, but if we need the whole vector as a one number, we should use the sum sum, for example, of mean, mean, or median, median, etc. That's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.